Welcome back. Now, after a performance like that, hmm, yeah, we needed some extra motivation this morning, if you ask me. We have Bisi Akonde in the building. The inspirer called to inspire individuals to be more so they can live and lead better. He's also a certified speaker, trainer, and coach with the Maxwell Leadership Certified Team. He's also an author of a really interesting book. We'll probably talk about that sometime soon right here on the show. Today, we're here to talk about the three pillars of success. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Well, I've really been uh, looking forward to this conversation because uh, there are so many people that put together schools of thought, uh, and you mentioned three pillars of success. Some might have said four, some might have said six, <laughs> some might have even said ten. Uh, but you, you pinpoint three. Which, which pillars are those? Go ahead. Okay, I pinpoint three. First, let me just see why I pinpoint three. Mm -hmm. there's, um, there's a saying that the threefold cord is not easily broken. So that's where I took that from. But the three pillars of success that I believe are strong for every one of us um, to succeed at any level is um, the first one is personal growth because it, it actually begins with you. Uh, what you can do for yourself, you can do for others. You know? So it begins with you uh, and so it's personal growth. And then of course the second one is communication mm. because uh, <laughs> if we can't get through to each other, then we can't go along with each other. And once we don't go along with each other, we minimize our success. And then the third one is how we lead. Mm. Because if you lead well, we become more effective with whatever it is that we're doing. Mm. All right, let's touch on the first one, uh, personal growth. Some f believe that, uh, you know, sending a child to school, putting them through school to a certain level is, you know, most of the personal growth that they need. But then a lot of people go further. But where are you going with this angle of personal growth? What should the average adult be looking to build on? There are two sides, um, I believe, of our life. There's the personal side of your life and there's the professional side of your life. But, you know, the professional does not come to work. It's the person that comes to work. Okay. And if the person comes to work and he's good at work and he's not good personally, mm. he's going to sabotage the work that he's supposed to do. Okay. I mean, the truth is that we work with each other. So if we don't grow our person, what we do is that we sabotage. Well, now, you talk about school. We go to school, we learn a lot of things in school, but the real skills of life most of times, people don't really learn them. The skills of how you relate with somebody else, how you work with somebody else, how you talk to somebody else, these are skills that people just leave back there. The attitude we bring to work is, is very important. The attitude we bring to life is very important. You know, I mean, I was saying recently, and it sounds a little bit funny, um, you can get married on love. Mm. But you can't stay married on love. You stay married on co commitment. Okay. That's a different ballgame now. Mm. Mm. So when it comes to personal development, what I believe is that everybody needs to be growing themselves, knowing where they are, where they want to be, and then taking the steps to bridge the gap. So uh, what I'm hearing is that personal growth never really stops. Never really stops. So let's touch on the second pillar that you mentioned, communication. This feels very wide uh, because on an average, we communicate with each other every single day. What, yeah. sort of, what sort of aspect of communication are you making reference to? Well, for me, I, 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 I don't go too into the deep nitty gritties and the technicalities here and there. Okay. They are important, not that they are not important, but for me, I believe that they are just about five things that everybody needs to know about communication okay. or needs to put to mind about communication. The first one is, what's the message? Hmm. What do I want to see? Rather, what do I need to say? Mm. Like I, I realize that sometimes people want to say what they have to say. But what we really should say is what we need to say. Okay. Because sometimes we say a little too much. But when you say what you need to say, then you've come. That, that's the message and it's very important. If you don't have something that you need to say, then there's no point saying anything. Mm. So that has to be clear. It has to be concise. You know, I mean, um, I was watching the show and um, I think Mike was trying to tell Mary um, mm. to do something. And she said, no, you need to be clear about this. I mean, mm. that's just it. Because most of the time you hear people say, are you, are you, are you listening to me? Mm. But I think the question should be, am I making myself clear? Okay. You know? So it's important that we know what we want, what needs to be said. Yeah. The second thing is that we need to understand the person that is saying it, mm. that, that we are saying it to, because people receive communication in different ways. Okay. What I tell one person, I can't tell the other person. That's very important. So I was actually going to touch on that because uh, sending messages is one thing, receiving messages is another. But what is the best way to uh, become a better receiver? 
on this end of the communication line. Mm. And that's very important because, you see, um, communication has not happened until the message has been received. Okay. It's not about talking. But to be a receiver of the message, I think one thing that most times we've not talked about is the listening skill. Mm. The ability to really listen and, and take in what somebody is saying. Most of the time I realize that people, um, people hear you to respond to you quickly, but they don't really listen. So what you are saying is not what it is. I think that the person speaking is responsible for the communication. Okay. So what he can do or what she can do is to be sure that the other person is receiving by probably asking questions and clarifying what needs to be said. There's nothing wrong with saying it twice if you have to. Hmm. Now, we've touched on two major pillars of success. Let's touch on the third one. You say leadership. <laughs> leadership means different things to different people. What does it mean to us in this context? Okay. Leadership, in my view, mm. is finding your gift and serving it to others. Service. L serving it to others. That's just it. Finding your gift and serving it to others. See, the more you find your gift and serve it to others, the more you're likely... But the more people you, you, you serve, the more people you are going to lead. Mm. See, and, and I know that a lot of people look at um, leadership at the higher level. But for me, leadership begins at the lower level. In fact, I always say it begins with you. Okay. So when you go back home, children lead one way or the other. Adults lead. Everybody... You know, my son leads me a lot of times. My son is just 12, but he leads me a lot. And he says some things that, that change my views, that, you know, and, and that's it. I was actually going to touch on children uh, and giving or helping instill leadership skills in our kids, uh, but I do believe we are a little far spent on time at this point. <laughs> we would love to hear your opinion on our topic for today on motivation. Please use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We would love to hear what you think and we will do our best to uh, respond to a lot of your messages. Thank you very much Thank again you. for joining us today. Thank you See so you much. Next so exciting. Yeah. And of course, if you missed any aspect of this, it will be on YouTube before long. TVC Entertainment is what you need to look for on YouTube and you'll see it right there. We're going to be taking a quick break, but we have so much more coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria.